What's going on? Jazz Tackar here with. I knew, what does that mean? I knew I was gonna fuck you up. I knew I was gonna fuck you up. I'm not used to that. Okay, ready, I thought ready, you were back with my girl. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say what's your girl, and yeah. then you say it. All right. What's up, Jazz Tacker right here? What's your girl, Laura Alto? Alto. Come on, you're a teacher today. <laughs> you're gonna be working the blackboard. I would never let the kids call me Alto. You wouldn't? No. Interesting. Well, all right. We're gonna be talking about the new build checklist. Why do you need a checklist? Because in case, like, if you don't do this with us, that's okay, but we wanna make sure that you, you have the right clauses and incentives in place if you were to buy a condo or a home in the province of Ontario. Make sure you share this with a friend because you're not, you don't know who they're buying with, let's protect them as well. Thank you guys. Yeah. <laughs> like I can do this. Okay. Yeah. That's I got. Right, no. That's why I kind of put my hands in my pocket. I was like, all right. It's a wrap. Oh, it's like, oh, he's gonna cut me off. Okay, I see how we're doing this. Oh, oh, what's he gonna show up so I can do it on my fucking own? Oh, Lee. All right. So, so I'm gonna make The student has become what, my teacher. Why don't I make you another board and you go nuts? <laughs> Oh. Is that good? Picture. Yes. Why don't you take a picture there? Oh, and you can just post this as a, a, a another piece of content. A little something, something. Don't worry, it's just vlog, so you can get in and say hi if you want. <laughs> Working on the blackboard. Yeah, um, so, so to your question, I would say yes, 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 and yes. Um, but before I go any further, I need to say happy birthday to Rosanie because I didn't get an opportunity to actually see that face of hers. Happy birthday, Rosanie. Um, in terms of what am I doing? Um, so at the start of this year, I'll take it back a couple of months really quickly. Um, I, I uh, uh, in talks with yourself and, and the rest of the leadership team, I said, look, I think I think we're at the at the place we are now is we're at scale. What does that mean? Well, we have 9,000. I'm just looking at my whiteboard to the left of me here. We have 9,263 people that we've been uh, nurturing for the last 16 years, and so n needing net new people, needing net new people that are cold for us just doesn't make sense. Why? Because I'm not a big width person. I'm totally about depth when it comes to business development, meaning that unless somebody's been introduced to us from this 9,263 uh, 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 REC Insiders database, then they don't need to come into our world. Why? Because it just takes time, it takes effort. We don't need that. Great question, Ethan. Um, first and foremost, I'm uh, at the highest level. I'm, I'm a big believer, my macro thesis on life, um, and so I guess I am kind of getting a little philosophical, is to always double down on your strengths and either forget your weaknesses or delegate them. Hence why you see there's a lot of people around me on a regular basis. I leave a lot of money on the table. Personally, I'm not a fancy guy, you can tell, um, because I need to fix my weaknesses um, or get them delegated. And so I double down on what I, uh, my strengths. And, 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 and on a side note, there's, you know, a couple of billion, if not, trillion dollar business industry I should say that exists to tell everyone that you'd have a lot of weaknesses and fix your weaknesses it's the self-help section in the bookstore and so not that there's anything wrong with it each to your own but there's nothing wrong with you you just like you don't need to be fixed you need to realize to double down on your strengths. So to your question, me personally, after now doing this for 26 years and 16 years in real estate, I would double down on, on what your strengths are. So if your strengths is the phone, go crazy on that. And, 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 and yes, add 
I, as I mentioned, you need to add some type of content to the world, but I wouldn't spread myself too thin. Is it set? Is I'm gonna give, give, give all this free information to people. And then in three, four months from now, I'm gonna sell a course. But I was the guy who's giving everything for free. Well, I just, lo I just love seeing your face, uh, Jeffrey, and I love, love obviously seeing Sam. I tell her every single day, um, great opportunity. I just heard the tail end of the conversation about uh, uh, the Galleria, and so uh, congratulations on securing that, and I think everybody who's watching, watching right now should definitely take advantage of it, um, and I think our conversation about producing content is gonna hopefully help help people who are watching to get to a place where, um, where, where it becomes a lot easier in terms of people reaching out to you. Investors, which generally most, most of the purchases are that are looking at a pre-construction, um, I could definitely speak uh, uh, more about that because what we do is we, we produce the content first, get very comfortable with it, Put it out as much as possible and then watch the investors come back but i know that's what we're going to jump into today and say go check out the crazy indian guy who waves his hands a lot and go check out his podcast go check out his newsletter rather than saying hey uh neighbor if this is grace talking like if you're thinking about buying selling or investing can you you know you might want to use jazz that's a big ask it's a big ask of even me to ask grace to do that right rather than me just saying hey check out my podcast check out my newsletter and so I heard the word podcast. I heard the word podcast from uh, uh, Gary v uh, Vaynerchuk. Some of you guys will know him as Gary V. I was like, what the heck is this podcast thing? Googled it, checked it out. I was like, oh, you talking to a mic? You know, I've been in sales and service for coming up to 26 years. Not that everyone, not, not that anyone has said to me that you have the sexiest voice, Jazz, but on the flip side, no one ever said that you have the worst voice. So I was like, I could do this podcast thing. Oh, and, and being of Indian descent, it's free, so it's not gonna cost me anything. I love this, I'm all in. Also because I can distribute it to the whole world at no cost, comparing to the 200 to $250,000 we were spending. And so that was the birth of the podcast. It happened three years ago. I had no team, so I love and I really appreciate Sam with what you what you mentioned about where I am in my journey. Guys, I'm three years into this journey. I'm completely obsessed with content. I'm gonna tell you why. Like so much so I love signature. I love Chris, Sam, and Jeff. But there's a big part of me that's doing this content so I can take the micro pieces of content out of it and put it back and redistribute it to my clients to showcase that, hey, their realtor also helps other realtors. And it kind of builds me as the authority. So that's where I am in my journey. If you're just thinking about producing your first piece of content, I wanna to talk to you why, why it's so important. And then we'll obviously jump into Q and A because I think that's where I'm gonna be able to bring the, 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 the best. Sorry, Jeff, were you gonna say something? Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. So, 